Hi everyone, welcome to Classic Camp Crafts version 2.0. I'm Miss Julia and today we're going to be going over all of the things that you get inside of your kit. If there's anything missing, please make sure to tell your grown-up and you can either post in the classroom or email me directly and I'll work to make sure that you get the thing that you're missing. So let's look and see what's in our kit. The first thing I have is a set of written instructions. You can use either the written instructions or you can use the videos that will be posted next week to go through and do all of the crafts. Make sure to move at your own pace and do the crafts on your schedule. I'm going to leave the videos up for as long as I can so you'll be able to do them whenever you have time. The next thing that I'm pulling out is a big bag of stuffing. We'll use that for our pillows. And speaking of our pillows, you should have two pieces of felt. If you picked up your kit from MSCR Hoyt, make sure that your grown-up also grabbed two pieces of felt from the box that was out. The next thing I have are some postcards, some magic scratch ones, and a blank one. I also have a canvas tote bag some sandpaper. I also have the smaller brown paper bag and if we open it up, inside is a glass votive, so a thing to hold candles and inside of that you should have one real candle and one flameless battery operated candle. Please make sure that your grown up knows that you have a glass container and that your grown up also knows that you have this candle, the real one. You also want to make sure to not light the candle. You want to have your grown up help you with that. Next, I've got two things of stencils. These are sort of like perler beads or those iron beads, but you don't have to have an iron to do them. I have some chalk. I have two types of air dry clay. I have a bag of embroidery floss. If you picked up your things from MSCR Hoyt, you'll need to make sure that you picked up a bag too. I have some glue dots, some scissors, a pencil, and then a few different little bags. So the first things I'll talk about are our bags with crayons in them. You have three different types of crayons. You've got some here that are larger. There's one pack with some different skin tones in it, and then one pack that's loose with smaller crayons. These loose smaller crayons we'll use to make our candles with, and these crayons you can use to either decorate your postcard, or we're also going to be using them to do the iron-on design for our tote bags. And then you have some markers here too for decorating. Then I've got a little bag full of little things. There's a patch that you can ask your grown up to help you iron onto your bag if you want, a pencil sharpener. I've got some popsicle sticks, a little stick that we'll use for our magic scratch postcards. Then I also have some foam stickers and some different types of key rings. One safety pin. Make sure your grown up knows that you have the safety pin as well. And please do be careful. The pin part is sharp. And the last thing that is in my bag is one thing of plastic lacing. So remember, if anything is missing from your kit, please let me know either via the classroom or an email. And I will be posting all of the videos next week. Some of them are from last year and we're going to be repeating some of the crafts, but most of those are things that you can choose to do differently this year if you did this kit last year. And the rest will be brand new. And if you are confused about any of the things, please feel free to post in the classroom or send me an email. And if there's anything that you're really proud of and would like to show off, I would love to see that. If your grown up says it's okay, you can post a picture of it in our classroom. I hope you enjoy doing all of the fun crafts that we have and I'll see you in our next video. Bye.